Three bedrooms, one level with a great meadow view in gorgeous Saddle Lake Farms. Colleen and David Black, Keller Williams Realty. Call on Colleen. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 4th of December. Snow knocking on the door. Confidence is pretty good. It's going to snow tomorrow morning, but how much? A lot to talk about. Let's get right to it. First off, some images coming from southeastern Texas. How about that snow around Houston this afternoon? Uh, they're under a winter storm warning out there. Really, so far, travel has not been that bad. Temperatures are above freezing, but certainly you don't see that around Houston that often in early December or, quite frankly, any time of the year. Around here, there's the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam looking over at uh, Bryant-Denny Stadium where state championship football is being played out there right now. Uh, we've got one game in progress this afternoon. The final game out there will be tonight. That's the Hoover-Prattville game, the 6A championship game. And, of course, cold is the word. Uh, temperatures will be in the low 40s tonight, a chilly north wind. Uh, down south, Mobile, things are quiet down there. That's the uh, sky cam at the battleship USS Alabama looking back over toward downtown Mobile. Uh, the skies become mostly sunny, but that will change soon. And there's a look at the sky cam over in Amory, Mississippi, where clouds are advancing in. Those are mid-level clouds, and those will be thickening tonight in advance of this. Boy, what a trough. Axis off to the west, and you can see a variety of interesting weather breaking out uh, to the east of that thing. Well, there's the big mass of uh, precipitation we're watching. That is rain and snow. Snow inland, Houston, Lake Charles, Lafayette, Louisiana getting snow, and that is headed toward the east-northeast. Guys at uh, SPC put out a mesoscale for that region, parts of Louisiana and south Mississippi, for rain changing to moderate to locally heavy snow. How about that? And while the soil is pretty warm, it might come down enough to get some snow on the ground, some accumulating snow down there, where winter weather advisories continue in effect. And tomorrow, the big snow will be on up the uh, northeast of here, to the northeast of here, through parts of the uh, southern Appalachians up into uh, uh, western Virginia and uh, just west of Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. That's where the big numbers will likely be. But let's kind of get right to it and take a look at the snow accumulation graphic. All of a sudden, the RPM is saying, yes, we might have some accumulating snow here. Not much. But this is the 12Z RPM showing a band of light snow accumulation roughly along Interstate 59 now. Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Cullman, and some of the heavier totals up there in northeast Alabama, places like Mentone, and Scottsboro and Bridgeport, Jackson and DeKalb counties, if this is right, they might be looking at two inches on the ridges up there. But the amounts are very light down through here. So just be aware of that. Uh, we'll look at the other models. This is the NAM, and it's pretty aggressive. This is the 12Z NAM, the accumulated snow. And that's suggesting a one to two inches potentially for Birmingham, Centerville, Brent, much of Shelby County. Marion, Demopolis, and look at those heavier numbers. That's two inches or more where you see the blue down there in southwest Alabama, places like Camden and Thomasville and Grove Hill and Jackson. And I see a, uh, a little three- to four-inch bullseye over Washington County, north of Mobile. And then it picks it back up again up in northeast Alabama. And again, that's coming off the NAM. We'll look at the uh, GFS. It is considerably drier, just a trace, really, with uh, maybe potential for up to one inch through parts of Calhoun and Cherokee counties. But no doubt, all of a sudden, after drying up last night on the OZ runs, the 12Z runs are back with a more moist look. So we'll mention, uh, we'll go back to the dusting to one inch and kind of hold it there with potential for two inches in isolated spots. Let's look at the uh, GFS. This is noon tomorrow. By then, the short wave is off to the east, and all this thing will be over. The main window for snow would be from about... Uh, We'll just say 1 o'clock until 10 o'clock a.m. That's just after midnight tonight through tomorrow morning. And really at noon, it's long gone. So, uh, and again, in terms of travel, we don't expect any major issues. There could be a few icy spots on bridges. Just don't go crazy if you're driving out there in the morning. But just be aware that it'll be a quick in and out in terms of the snow. Sunday will be uh, cold in the morning in the 20s. We'll warm up into the low 50s with a sunny sky. Monday of next week, the moisture is back, a chance of some light rain at times with warm air advection. And look at that big storm out west. That's going to be a big one. Tuesday, uh, we stay fairly moist. That is a whopper of a storm, 988 millibars over Trinidad, Colorado. That'll be a massive snowstorm for Denver and points northeast. 
We'll go to Tuesday night. Strong shortwave lifting just north of us. The surface low is located near Columbia, Missouri. And that'll be a big snowstorm uh, in areas in the cold quadrant of that. And around here, we could see a few strong storms Tuesday nights, maybe some heavy rain. And then by Wednesday, we get in the dry slot as the uh, surface low moves northeast. Heavy snow maybe for Chicago and Milwaukee. So that uh, area from uh, Denver up to uh, Omaha, Des Moines, and Chicago and Milwaukee could see a big-time snow next week. And around here, we'll be wet for the first half of the week with the heaviest rain. Tuesday night, maybe a strong storm. And again, Wednesday, we get in the dry slot. Thursday looks uh, cool and dry. And a week from today, this is Friday the 11th, moisture comes back in advance of the next storm. More big snows up there for uh, Iowa and uh, maybe Des Moines and Chicago and Illinois. So uh, they're getting to a very snowy pattern. But again, that would just be wet here. And the following day, this is Saturday the 12th, the rain is tapering off as another shot of cold air drops in. Very active pattern. Let's check to the end of the forecast, December 20th, five days from Christmas. Where is this year gone? Again, a very active look. Uh, the very cold air over the northern states, the Gulf system down there. You know, at some point, we might have some more mischief. I know we've got this little thing tomorrow morning, which in the overall scheme of things should not be a big deal, but might open the door for something more significant down the line. We'll just have to wait and see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video, my next video, by Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters will have the updates tomorrow and Sunday. And, of course, we'll keep the blog updated with fresh information as this very interesting start to the weekend unfolds. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.